Good morning, everybody. This is day 12 of my 21 day fast. I had such an incredible sleep last night. My goodness, I slept like 12 hours, I think. I feel very, very well rested. Um, as I keep mentioning, it's very important to get extra rest on your fast when you can. And last night I did end up doing a probiotic enema which completely calmed down my gut so no more of the of the rhea i'm so excited for today <laughs> i'm going to have a massage with one of my very dear and super talented friends jenny who gives literally the best massages i've ever had and uh we go way back we actually were pregnant with all of our children at the same time and they are the opposite sexes so whereas she has two older girls and a younger boy we have two older boys and a younger girl our friends our, our sorry our kids grew up together we've had a lot of really good times together and it's been a bit since we've seen each other so sometimes I have to actually book her in to get time with her so I can spend time with her but it's win-win I get a massage out of it too also I had originally planned on doing my liver flush yesterday but uh, given the state of my gut yesterday, I decided to push it till today. So I will be doing my liver flushing formula this evening and I will walk you through that. But essentially it really helps to clean out, like really helps to clean out trapped stones in your liver and gallbladder. Uh, so that's it for my morning update. Time to do day 12 official weight check-in. to premier massage to get my massage with Jenny. I'm so excited. And there she is, the one and only Jennifer Donardo Petty, the best RMT ever to lay hands on me. Fine. Jenny, I have missed you so much. Oh, Jody, it's so good to have you on my table. <laughs> well, I can't wait to get to this. Thank you for giving me the relief that I know is pending. I love you. Hmm. Yep. She does not disappoint. So I'm back from my wonderful massage with Jenny and I'm about to make my liver flush recipe mixtures for the evening. So to start, we need to take three cups of filtered water and mix in four tablespoons of organic Epsom salts. Stir it till it all dissolves. This might take a minute. Once this mixture is dissolved, I'll be putting it in the fridge. And the first thing that I'm going to do with this process is drink a cup of this at six o'clock, another one at eight o'clock tonight. And then the remaining one full cup will be divided into two doses in the morning when I wake up. So theoretically, I'll be waking up at 6 a.m. and I'll drink a half a cup, go right back to bed, and then drink the other half cup at 8 a.m. The most important thing to do with this flush is rest properly, staying in bed as long as possible. Looks good. And by good, I mean awful. It's the worst thing I've ever tasted or ingested for my health ever, but I do it for my health. The next part of this is to take a half cup of extra virgin olive oil, organic, and put the juice of three lemons into that. And then we will blend it all up with my fancy immersion blender. So as I said, I'm gonna put a link below explaining liver flush in detail, um, the recipe, how to do it, what its benefits are. But overall, this process helps eliminate gallstones and potentially liver stones, if you believe that they exist, I personally do, from your body. And it's not a pretty process. I will not show you gory details, but essentially this will be invoking uh, the Rhea tomorrow morning and I will be pushing out hundreds of stones, at least 
This has been my experience in the past. I have had incredible results with liver flushing. You have to do it right though. So do your research. There's a lot of preparation involved in this. As I said, I was taking my malic acid supplements, which help to detoxify the liver and loosen up the, stone, loosen up the stones. You can't eat any fat uh, for the day, the day you're doing your liver flush. And also you typically do not want to eat after 2 p.m. on the day of your liver flush. I have that covered because I'm already fasting. And the other important note that I will make is that when you want to do a liver flush, you need to make sure that your colon has been cleansed first because you don't want to have anything that's going to block the process of the elimination of these stones. Luckily, again, I've been doing my enemas. You can put this uh, solution into a mason jar and shake it up and mix it or however you want to actually just make sure it's well combined. Now, again, this process is it's difficult to do. It tastes terribly and it's it can cause nausea and vomiting, especially if you do not rest properly with it. So at 10 o'clock, I will be drinking this solution within five minutes. Standing up through a straw makes it a little bit easier to actually tolerate because drinking straight olive oil and lemon is nasty, not gonna lie. Um, and then, I need to immediately lie down on my right side with my knees up for 20 minutes and then try to stay sleeping on my right side and not moving as much as possible in the night. This is important for um, the liver to be able to not be interfered with, I think, and, and basically be able to do its work. And sometimes when I'm lying down with my liver flush, I can already feel things moving and the Epsom salt really the Epsom salt mixture is kind of like a big primer. It's like a big pressure cooker for your liver. It helps to shoot things out. So that's my solution. I will probably not make any more video tonight because I will be doing this process. It's possible that I'll show you the drinking of the Epsom salts. It's not going to be fun. And tomorrow, for those of you who are arm wrestling fans and have come to my channel because of that, there is a big event called King of the Table 3 happening in Dubai. And of course, we're hosting a party to watch it. So hopefully I will be through the majority of my liver flush excavation by the time people show up at my house. Otherwise I might spend a bit of that party just in my own bathroom upstairs where no one can find me. So it's six o'clock and I am ready to drink my first cup of Epsom salt solution. Here we go. Oh my God, that's awful. Ugh. One done. Time for round two. Here we go. It does not get better. So I've just drank my olive oil and lemon mixture and I'm lying down on my right side with my knees up to my chest and I am going to go to sleep as soon as possible. Good night guys. <laughs>